Hello guys, welcome. I wanted to go over how we find the slope of a line given two set of coordinates. So the first thing I want to do is to remind you that in order for you to find the slope of two sets of coordinate pairs, you have to remember that y is going to be a numerator and x is going to be a denominator. So basically what you're doing is finding the difference between the y's and the difference between the x. That's it. So what I'm going to do is to demonstrate to you how to do it. It is quite simple to be honest, but I know if you think there's a certain way that you have to do it, it's going to become difficult and it seems impossible. So what I wanted to do today is to show you that it's not impossible. It's something that you can do very comfortably. Okay. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is to identify my y. I am starting with my y's because y is going to be my numerator. So now we got to determine, do I start with the four or do I start with a two? To be honest, it does not matter. Your preference. You just need to know one thing. If you do start with a negative four for the y, you got to start with three for the x. That's pretty much it. But it doesn't matter which one you choose. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start with my negative 4. So I'm going to do negative 4, take away 2. It is a positive 2, so I'm just going to subtract 2, okay? All over. Positive 3. Take away 7. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to subtract. If you notice, I have negative 4 minus 2. We have two negatives, so when we have two negatives, we're going to add. Um, so it's going to become negative 6. And the next step is to subtract. 3 take away 7 is going to give me a negative 4. Now, if you notice, I have negative divided by negative, And when that happens, we got to change it to a positive because division requires you to change the quotient when you are dividing by two negative. All right, so therefore my answer is going to be six fourths. Remember it is a slope, so you cannot rename this as a mixed number. It has to be in the form of a ratio, okay? It is y over x, so it has to stay in this form even though it is an improper fraction. All right, so I want you to know what to do if I want you to see that I proof to you that it does not matter which set you start with, which um, which coordinate you start with. So I'm going to erase this and then show you the another, another way that you could have done it and get the same answer. OK, so remember, we started with four, negative four. So this time I'm going to start with positive two. All right, because it's a coordinate for y. So I'm going to be putting 2, take away negative 4. I, I'm going to put it into parentheses to remind you that the 4 is negative. It has nothing to do with the subtraction sign. We are subtracting because we want to know the difference between the two. All right, so that's pretty much it. And then we're going to basically divide it by 7, right? We started with 2 for the y. we got to start with 7 for the x. So it's going to become 7, take away 3. And as a reminder, if you notice, we are subtracting a negative. Whenever we subtract a negative, it is going to be the same thing as adding. So therefore, 2 minus a negative 